What is going on, Capricorn? Welcome back to the Jewelry Box. This is your girl, Empress Gem. I'm here to drop these jewels. This is your love quickie for March 2022. So go ahead and right now, get a video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, because trust me, you're going to love this flavor ah, that I'm putting all up in your cup. Okay? And um, comment below and share. Share the love. Share the video. Okay? Equal energy exchange. So general message, guys, will highly resonate with your Venus and your moon, but also your sun and your rising, or however it is that you resonate as far as Capricorn energy. To all my cross watchers in the back, because we know y'all's be here. How? Right? So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn for the month of... March 2022. You didn't get a papa, so we're going to get it off the top. Adventure awaits. Go find it. Capricorn, get up off of that thing. And to you, I feel better. Um, so you at the scene. <laughs> you're at. <laughs> you're looking at the emotion pool. <laughs> cesspool. Put my foot in the cesspool of bullshit. Capricorn, open up. Okay, what's underneath the deck? Yes, harmony is pure love. For love is complete agreement. Okay, open up. I feel like you're going to find somebody who makes your heart sing. Okay, who is worth the symphony, who is worth the dance. But right now, you're just like looking at this pool of emotions of people. And you're just like, Ugh, these are my options. You'd be surprised. Somebody might actually be on the same note as you. Okay. Not everybody off key and off beat Capricorn. Talking to a musician possibly. Or you listen to a lot of music. Okay. So let's see. Capricorn. -a. Capricorn. What do we have here? We're going to pull your solo energy for the month of March in regards to your love life. How you've been treating love. Past, present, future. First card. Oh, the magician. You've been manifesting though. You've been making shit happen behind the scenes, Gemini Virgo energy. You've been speaking life into yourself. And now you're at this point where it's like, damn, I done manifested all this other shit in my finances is good. I'm looking good. I'm smelling good. All right. You know, I'm thinking clear. But now it comes to this love shit. Right. Right. So you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. And that's what you've been doing. And your manifestations have been rolling in. <laughs> I got all this and I just need somebody to share it with. But again, you kind of like, uh, I don't know if I really want to go out there. But no, there's somebody out there who will march to the beat of the drum that you're banging. Okay. Currently right now, you and that ego, Capricorn, here you are straight up front and center. You are in your energy right now. Okay. But that is also ego. All right. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. Self-explanatory is everything I just said about the cesspool. Yuck. <laughs> Germs. <laughs> but moving towards a renewal, all major energy. Your love life is getting a major shift this month, Capricorn. Okay? Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others okay everybody's not germs everybody's not iwi okay um getting a lot of um insightful energy a lot of downloads okay looking at patterns of your life seeing where you have been and seeing where you are and knowing where you have showed up like you don't showed up and showed out and like i said the energy that's coming towards you that is meant for you is meant for you, okay? Underneath the deck, yeah, Ten of Winter, okay? Ten of Swords, letting all that mental fuck shit go, right? But the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off of your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency, all right? So, yeah, the love that's coming towards you is going to be just like you. Very much so independent, stable, hard worker, also a good loving and nurturing type of individual who speaks your love language, Okay? And I feel like it might be through music. So, yeah, you could have left somebody out in the cold recently or you were. Shit, and that's what propelled you to move forward and get on the grind, get on your grizzly. Right? Yup, it did. It sure as hell did put you in that full energy. But that was Taurus. And then we got Aries energy here. So, yup, a tower moment that happened in your life. And it, you got going. You did what you had to do. So, let's see. Divine Holy Spirit. Let's pull this tarot. For Capricorn and their person that they have in mind. And if you don't have one, then this is somebody coming towards you. For the month of March 2022. So what you want to do? I want to 
This person might be older than you. They might have gray hair, salt and pepper. All right, let me stop playing. Cause I said I want a quick message. Bam, bitch. What I tell? <laughs> I'm sorry, but yes, your divine counterpart, the person who's supposed to match you, Emperor Energy, Aries Energy. Okay, somebody who is like I said, got their shit together. Okay, they're a hard worker. They might even own their own business, but they got their shit together. This is the energy that you're looking for. This is the energy that you're in, or this person is in as well here. Okay, but this is combined energy. And the energy is taking charge. The energy is being in charge. The energy is boss. Okay? Big dick energy. Big vagina. Well, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to like big, big pussy energy. I don't know if I want big, big toto. Mira, no. But um, big dick energy. Huge. Okay? Yes. Stop playing with me, Capricorn. Okay? This is your energy. The magician. This is where you were in the past. You're still there now. You're still manifesting. You're still making shit happen. Okay? Capping. Majors, you've had nothing but majors that has come out so far. Again, Gemini, Virgo energy. But nothing but majors. And it's crazy that sitting on your past energy is also still the magician again. Like you are really manifesting and creating the life that you want and desire. So understand and know that the person who comes in to love you, that you're going to allow to love you, is the right fucking person. Okay? And I feel like this person might even force their way into your life. The lovers have... Oh, bitch could be a Gemini. Stop playing with me. But this is a soulmate connection. This is like, I heard God touch this shit. They said, you know what? I'm tired of seeing you go through the struggle of love, Capricorn. Because I swear, I think like in all past readings since I've been on here, y'all don't, y'all dealt with a lot of struggle, love type energy. But this person is coming in to love you. They're willing to get over the hurdles with you. Okay. This is somebody who mirrors you. Okay. They putting in the same energy that you putting in. And that uh, shit. This, what you doing look pretty damn dynamic to me. This is a dynamic duo as energy, okay? A balance in here, okay? Y'all balance each other out. There will never be lack here, okay? The harmony is pure love. For love is complete agreement. This is a, a beautiful contract of love here, okay? Being in agreement, being in harmony. Now, what's the problem? Somebody in their head, and I feel like this is heavily you. Okay, it could be the Gemini or Gemini energy here. Somebody who is like overthinking the situation. But I feel like this might just be you, Capricorn. Cause like I said, you aren't sure if you really want to dip off into this emotions, if you want to go on this emotional roller coaster, or you feel like you're going to be on one. And I don't think so. You need to take that blindfold off, shimmy up out of that little piece of tissue paper wrapped around you and take a step and go for it. Go do this. Be in control. Take charge. Okay. Um, shit. <laughs> Somebody could be in jail. Somebody could be trapped or locked up in a whole nother situation. That's why they can't get to you. Or because I see you doing your thing. But um no, this is literally just like either you being mentally stuck or this person being mentally stuck. I really feel like it's you because the adventure awaits. You just need to go out. But again, I feel like you don't you call into the cesspool. You don't feel like there's any good options, any good looks. You don't feel like there's anybody out there for you, but there is. They have this lover's energy. They want to love you, okay? So your advice here, Capricorn, is to work with people, Capricorn, your energy. You need to go out and work with people. Mingle, okay? You're single, trying to mingle, okay? You're looking sexy, okay? Somebody want to pop top off like a Pringle, okay? Can, can, can I get ya? They want to get ya. Who is interrupting this? One second, guys. All right, Cap, let's finish picking back up. My bad about that crazy ass cut. But like I said, you are in this three of pentacles energy here. This is your advice of what you need to do. You need to collaborate and work with this person or like, you know, just get out there. The adventure awaits. You won't know. Go hang out with them friends and shit. You're going to meet this person. You're going to bump into them and it's going to feel right. It's going to feel magical because you've been manifesting this end. The advice of this person. <sighs> I'm wishing on a star. They're wishing. They want you. But this person is healed. Could be an Aquarius energy here as well. This person could be in the spotlight. Okay? Because um, I'm telling you, somebody either famous, do music or something like that, or about to blow up. Okay? But I also feel like this person, it's like they're pouring in. They're trying to like, I don't know. I'm feeling like manifesting energy here as well. Like, a real true loving connection here. I feel like they just need to continue to pour into you. Like I feel like they have more than enough. So 
whoever even you may have actually met this person but you won't really collaborate or work or get too close to this person or you're keeping them at arms length or whatever <laughs> six feet COVID <laughs> but I feel like this person is going to continue to pour into you and if not that is the advice continue to pour in to Capricorn cross watcher they want it they want love like you do too but again I feel like you have to continue to show them that you ain't with the shits and that you're not here to play no games, okay? And where is this going? All my ladies who's independent, throw your hands up at me. You might still just sit around and be single. You might kind of entertain it. This is Baby Empress. So, like I said, um, you could attempt to want to work with this person, but you could be, like, kind of juggling this energy. Not sure if you want to do this, but it will be a good thing. I do feel like this will be a good connection, a good bond, yes. That offer is coming in. This emperor is going to come in and offer you because this is baby empress, right? And she blows up and because who? The big empress. When you add this page, him coming in to make this small offer and you might be like Capricorn, like, mm, I don't know if I really want to deal with that. Take him up on that little date. You know, I feel like it could be something as small as a coffee, you know, whatever. But they really want to get to know you. So, yeah, go on out on this date. Meet this person. Get out your head. Stop thinking so negative about them. Yeah, stop blocking this person out. Stop blocking out the love that's trying to come in. Because this person cares about you. They see you for who you are, right? Yeah, because you are calling in your soulmate. The lovers, okay? So, let's see here. Yeah, and there's hella chemistry. Magician energy, too. You've manifested this, okay? It's there. It's in your hand. You can have it. So, final message here for Capricorn from the Love Oracle, Divine Holy Spirits. Honeymoon, okay? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Get to know them. Don't be afraid, okay? Get out there, okay? Yes, because there is hella chemistry. You're going to see that once you open up and let them in. So, do it. Do it for me. Do it for you. Do it for all the people in the world. Love is love. Let's raise these vibrations, right? So, yes, Capricorn, that has been your message. Sorry for your crazy-ass cut in the middle. But I hope this has helped. Until the next time we speak, peace.